Hello everyone, this is Wilson here. Today I want to talk about how to find a vector function for the line that's passing through the two given points. So the two points are given here. And so the way that we are finding this is really just the same uh, procedure as finding the parametric equation for a line in space. And so how do we do it? Uh, right now, because we are trying to come up with the vector function, so what we want to do is to first recall a vector function that's the um, that's for the line right so let's just recall that here and so what that is is that we have a uh, vector function that's r of t okay and then so the independent variable the parameter would be the t here and then we have the r naught plus t times v and so let's talk about what each part is uh representing right so what is r naught r naught is actually Okay, so this is R naught. R naught is actually the uh, the position vector. What is the position vector? Uh, its initial point is actually at the origin. Okay, so where is it pointing to? It's pointing to a point that's on the line. So this is the position vector that's pointing to a point on the line. And so you know that in this case, we can pick either point for this vector. Okay, so it's terminal point or the head of this vector is actually pointing toward one of those points that we choose. It doesn't matter which one that you choose. Okay. <clears throat> okay, now what about the V? So you know that the T is the parameter here, right? So the V in this case would actually be the direction vector. And so what is the direction vector? You can actually think of it as the slope of the line in the plane. Okay, so now we, we know what they are and then we are going to start writing down those two. Okay, so uh, the position vector that's pointing to a point on the line, that would be easy. As I said, you can choose either point. So I'm just going to choose the, pers the first point that I see in the problem, right? So I'm just going to going to construct this vector. Remember that its initial point is actually at the origin. So you can simply just use the what the x, y, z values for the point and use those as the x, y, z components for this position vector. Because basically what you're going to do is that if you're constructing the vector, you take the two minus zero, like the one minus zero, and then three minus zero. Okay, but when you subtract zero, you are just getting the same number. So we are getting two, negative one, and three. That easy. Okay, so now regarding the direction vector, this is the one that we need to do a little bit of calculation, but it will still be really straightforward to do the calculation. How do we do the calculation? It's this. Um, if we are picking this one as the initial point and picking that one as the terminal point, then we can construct a vector between those two points because um, the line needs to be parallel to those uh, to that vector. That's that's using this as the initial point and using that as the terminal point. So what we're going to do is that we are going to take this as the terminal point, right? So we are going to take the, the x value minus that x value, and then the y value minus this y value, the z value minus this z value. So we are going to get this new vector here, 0 minus 2. Okay, so taking the zero minus the two, and then take the four and minus the negative one, right? So we put that here. So four minus negative one, okay? And then take the one minus the three. So we get one minus three. And so now we do the calculation and then we are going to be getting negative two. Um, so be careful with this this uh, subtraction right here, this subtraction is coming from uh, constructing the vector, but that subtraction sign inside the parentheses is coming from this number. Okay, so since you have double negative signs right here, you're adding the four and the one, so you're gonna get five. And then you have negative two for the third component. And see that we actually come up with the direction vector, right? And then also uh, the position vector that's pointing to one of the points on the line. Okay, so now what do we do? Um, so we can actually write down the function already, right? So we can just try to write it down here. So rt is equal to, now what is the r naught? The r naught is 
given here. So let's just put that there. So we have two, negative one, three, and then plus, and then t times what? t times the direction vector, which is which is what? Which is uh, negative two, five, and then negative two. So now basically we are done, but then let's um, combine both vectors together, right? Let's combine them together. Then we are going to be getting two, negative one, three, plus now distribute this t inside all the components, right? Inside this vector. So we get negative two t, five t, and then negative two t. And so now add the two vectors together, we're, we are getting, um, what is that? That's two minus two t, negative one plus five t, and then three minus two t. And since we are talking about a line here, then we don't really have a restriction for the t. So that means t is going to go from negative infinity to infinity, right? Or you don't even need to specify this, but I'm just going to specify the domain for the t so that um, it's clear that there is no restriction on the t. Okay, so that's, that's, um, that's how you come up with the answer for the vector function. That's how you parameterize, right? that line. And in the case that you feel like, okay, so what is the uh, this, the set of parameter equations that will represent this line here, then we can actually just take each component, right, in the vector function, and then you write them as parameter equations. So if you are to do that, right, this is optional, this is not part of the solution. But if you want the parametric version, right, so let me put it right here. So if you want the parametric version, then it would be x of t. That's equal to our first component right here, which is 2 minus 2t. Two so we get 2 minus 2t two right here. And then the y of t is equal to now the second component, which is this. So we get that here. So we get negative plus 5t, negative 1 plus 5t. And then the z of t is equal to, what is that? So we have the 3 minus 2t, so we get the 3 minus 2t. And so that's our set of parametric equation. I will give you the line. OK, so how do you feel about this problem? It's actually quite simple, right? So just remember two things that we need to find. One is that the position factor that's pointing to a point on the line. The other one is to find the direction vector. Sometimes we need to make some adjustment regarding the direction, which direction that we want to trace out the line. In this case, because we do not have extra conditions, so we don't really need to worry too much. So you can use either point to uh, subtract the other point. OK, so you can use what we are doing here is that we use the second point subtracting the first point, but you can also use the first point subtracting the second point to construct that uh, direction vector. In that case, it would be the in the opposite direction. So it would be 2, negative 5, and 2. And then you would get a different looking function here. OK, so that's it for this problem. To help me make math learning available to everyone, please share my videos to others and subscribe to my channel. It will give me support and make more videos. Let's work together to help students and children learn math more easily. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you.